This was an abdication of the most basic duties of the United States government to protect Americans and leave no one behind. Rules Don't idiot. shoot unless you get shot at. Yeah. You're literally, you showed me videos of this. Yeah. You sh you're literally witnessing people get executed from all angles. Yeah. And then they make the ROEs even more strict on you. Yeah, they, they Who's go. Who's telling you this? Where's it coming from? I will not rest. And this committee will not rest until we determine how this happened and hold those responsible for it accountable. And before I close, I would like to honor the 13 service members who died at Abbey Gate that tragic, tragic day. Everyone's running out and immediately setting up a 360, and I'm just looking around, and there's like, just calm as can be, like right there on the airfield. And uh, just in that immediate area where we landed, and this like army soldier or this airman walks up with her Kevlar like strapped to her, her pack or her plate carrier, walking up to us with a clipboard. Hi guys, welcome to Afghanistan. Can we please have a moment of silence to honor the memory of these fallen heroes and all of the fallen heroes in the Afghan conflict. Chaz and I uh, spent hours and hours and hours watching those drone feeds and in the days leading up to it as well. And I mean, all you saw was the Taliban outside the gates just bam, 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 just civilian after civilian after civilian. How many civilians do you think you saw executed by Taliban from drone feed? From the drone feed, probably, probably like 20 or 30 at least. Thank you for inviting me to speak to you all about my Marine Corps scout sniper team's experience during the evacuation in Kabul, Afghanistan. This is my perspective, this is my account and not the DOD's. I'm Sergeant Tyler Justin Vargas Andrews. I'm 25 years old and from Northern California, a professionally instructed gunman and radio operator for my team. My sniper team was Reaper 2, part of Victor 2-1 Weapons Company, attached to Echo Company 2nd Battalion 1st Marines from Camp Pendleton, California. I'm to sorry, what? They allowed the Taliban to come up to our gate. U U.S. leadership invited Taliban to come to the f***ing gate yeah. to do crowd control. Yeah. Who, who is this? Do you have names? An infantry platoon of roughly 40 Marines and my assistant team leader left for Kabul on August 15th. They eventually faced the Afghan civilian crowd that overran the Hamid Karzai International Airport. The rest of us arrived on August 16th. All the Marines linked up and staged inside a gym in Hichkaya, not far from the airfield. We connected with our command and received our first mission later that night. <clears throat> From August 17th to the 18th, we surveilled and reported on Taliban activity from the top platform of the satellite tower near the civilian airport terminals in Ishkaya. We reconnected with another sniper team and moved back towards our staging area that night. Our team traveled to Abbey Gate forward in the afternoon of the 19th and set up a position in the tower as Marines and riot gear were sent through the crowd to cordon off a couple hundred people as we tried to begin some form of processing. Hundreds of people came in waves surging through the gate multiple times physically fighting us. Living out of our tower, we conducted 24-7 operations at the gate. The next seven days were surreal. Nothing prepared us for the ground experience we were about to encounter. It was chaos, but we worked together to figure out the next best steps. Hoover and I are just kind of talking like, you know, these, like, what the f is going on here? Like, what is, what is this? And Hoover's like, man, this is not like anything I've ever experienced before overseas. Eventually, the individual disappeared. To this day, we believe he was a suicide bomber. We made everyone on the ground aware 
Operations had briefly halted, but then started again. Plain and simple, we were ignored. Our expertise was disregarded. No one was held accountable for our safety. About 1730, Staff Sergeant Darren Hoover, friend and mentor. Came to get me from the tower to go help find an Afghan interpreter in the crowd. <laughs> 